What a beautiful morning. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's early in the morning. It's cold. I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys can see it on the window. It's all wet. But anyways, I got two Christmas special camp swaps today. Well, I got the trucks here. So I'll show you guys which ones. And I'm gonna do kind of a video of the process so since it's like a special, everything included. So the parts I included, cam kit, uh, everything you need, it, whether you have DOD or not, everything's included. So if you have DOD, the DOD delete kit is included in everything you need. The dyno tunes included and the installation by me is included. So I got the parts for these two. I got this nice, it's probably like a what, 03 GMC Sierra. It's very clean. This is the one I'm gonna do first. Let me pop the hood real quick. It's really clean inside too. Very nice, very clean. It's got a nice intake. And then we got this beautiful TBSS. I'm gonna do this one after. I should have them both done today by like, I don't know, maybe one o'clock or three o'clock, somewhere around there, depending if I don't run into like any troubles. And then I should be able to get at least one of them tuned. If not, I'm gonna try to get both of them. Depends if he's busy or not. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one started. I'm gonna get all my parts. I always like to set, up, set my parts right here. Alright guys, so I got it all done. Back all together and everything. So, I just gotta fire it up. Put some coolant in it. I got some pictures here. Yeah, that's my wife's truck. You don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. There's the cam. Valve springs. Now, we just gotta fire it up. Alright, so it's idly now. Not bad for stage two. I just gotta put that cover on. And then we're all done. So I'm gonna move this one out. And then move this one over here and get started on this one. Should be pretty much the same thing. This thing looks so good, so pretty much stock LS2 sits up intake, hold their intake. Alright, so same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this one. It's gonna be pretty much the same thing, just camp and valve springs. It might take me a little longer because it's a little more compact. It's a little different to take off the radiator and stuff, but I'll get it done. Alright guys, so I had to stop. I just got the cam in. And as you can tell, the cam that I got in there, it's a three bolt cam. All the cams that I order are three bolts, because most of the trucks are three bolts already. Kind of like those. But on the Gen 4 LS motors, most of them come with one bolt cam. As you can tell, this one did. You see here, one bolt. So, and usually what I do, I just buy the can sprocket, that it's a three bolt, and then just buy the three bolts, and then you can just convert it to a three bolt cam. But, I didn't buy it for this one, I forgot, they come with a one bolt cam, I thought it was going to come with a 
three bolt cam. So, I'm either gonna have to go to Summit real quick, just go buy this the three bolt one, and then buy the three bolts, and then just come back and that way I can finish it. Or I'm gonna go try to see if my local speed shop has them. Hopefully, that way I don't have to drive all the way to Summit. It's like 25 or 30 minute drive, especially in traffic, depending on time it is. It's two, so there won't be that much traffic, but still a long drive. All right, guys, I just made it. It is, I don't know if you guys can see, 250. I'm gonna try to go in there and get the part real quick. All right, guys, so I got the part. Here it is. You can tell it's a three bolt can sprocket. Literally, this is all I was missing. God damn it. My head back home. Hopefully I don't catch any traffic. Cause it's gonna turn this um, drive from like a 25 minute drive to like a 40 minute drive. But I'll see you guys back home. I'm gonna try to finish it real quick. Maybe get them tuned today. Uh, this sent me back quite a bit. If not, I'm gonna get them tuned tomorrow. And this is why I'm telling the guys that are doing the Christmas special that It'll most likely be a matte two-day type of deal. I can for sure get it done in one day, especially if it was one trip. But I tell them two days just to be sure, you know, cam it one day and then dyno tune it the next day, just in case anything happens, you know, I run into anything. You never know where you're gonna run into. Just like I didn't know I was gonna need a three bolt cast rocket, but here we are. So I'm gonna head back home and we'll finish it up. All right, guys, so I got it done. I'm putting cooler in it right now. It does take longer on this one. You gotta take everything out. Then it's a pain in the butt to take the radiator off. You gotta take out the whole front end off, and then you gotta take out the windshield wiper fluid, tank out, and just a pain in the butt. Yep, so here we go, first start. Let's see what it sounds like. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime it first. Good oil pressure. I always like to keep an eye on that. Not bad, not bad, sounds pretty good. Motor, everything's good here. No leaks, anything. All right, so they're both ready. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to the dyno tomb today since this one held me back quite a bit, maybe like two hours. So I'm gonna take him tomorrow. I'm sure he'll be there and I'll take him early in the morning. That way we have all day in case anything or he's busy or something. With that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so taking the TBSS to get tuned. I actually already took the other truck the brown one that you saw me cam uh, as well. Uh, I got it tuned yesterday, but I wanted to put this one on the video. I got this one scheduled right now at 3 or 3.30 ish. Uh, he told me to be there, so it's three o'clock right now, so I'm gonna head over there. One thing he tells me to make sure is make sure all eight cylinders are firing. You know, typically you would have to like, you know, turn it on, unplug each cylinder and make sure like they're firing, like you would kind of like see the difference in the way the motor runs. But thankfully, I got this and I can just check easily. So just plug it up. And then I should be able to just check if all eight cylinders are firing. Easy as that. So I can either just go to engine control module, read data stream, misfire data, select all.
right guys, so it's the next day. I waited to the next day to finish the video. So it was late last night and it was already dark. But he finished the dyno tune. It drives good and everything. Made good power. It made 412 horsepower and 412 uh, foot pounds of torque. I guess I'm gonna end this video here guys. Uh, the owner's about to come pick it up. Uh, this is what the special includes, you know, from the time that you drop it off, completely stock, you'll pick it up, tuned and camped and whatever. For any Gen 3 or Gen 4 GM model, LS or, yeah, LS, it's 1500 if you don't have DOD. So basically, if you just want to do the camp kit, no lifters or anything like that, it's 1500 including labor, parts, and dyno tune. If you have uh, DOD, or even if you don't have DOD, but you want to change your lifters, it's 2,500. And that's including, you know, everything, camp kit, lifters, DOD delete, uh, labor, and dyno tune, so. Yeah, this, I just wanted to record this video just to kind of show the process of what the special offers of what's included in the special. If you wanna take advantage of it, let me know. DM me on my Instagram. I'll put that on the description below. Or you can comment here and then I'll give you my email. So I'll put my email in the description below too. You can email me and then we can talk about it. With that being said guys, I'll see you guys on the next video.